can get where he wants to. If he's got some fire in his soul, we'll see justice, Sarah, and plenty of men who will stand up and give us our due. Hi, I'm Stephen Flaherty. I'm the composer of Ragtime. And I'm Lynn Ahrens. I'm the lyricist. And Terrence McNally, who's not with us, is our wonderful book writer. When we started uh, working on Ragtime, it, the novel written by E.L. Docker, which I highly encourage everybody to read because it's fantastic, um, was a very rich source and there was so much in it that we had to analyze as writers for musical theater and see what we needed to keep, what we didn't want to keep, and how to focus a story for the stage. Um, and what we decided, Terrence McNally, Stephen, and I decided was that the fictional characters in the novel would be our main characters, Mother, Tata, Full House Walker Jr., and their families. And the secondary tier of characters would be the famous celebrity characters of the day, Emma Goldman, Booker T. Washington, Harry Houdini, um, all of these, you know, J.P. Morgan, Henry Ford. And, and we realized that each of those celebrity figures of the time could in some way impact on the fictional characters. So in other words, Evelyn Nesbitt is a free soul, a theater performer, a kind of jazzy girl, and she's the antithesis of mother. Mm -hmm. But she's showing us where mother might be able to go, how mother can step into the 20th century and be a modern woman. Um, Emma Goldman, who is this passionate uh, political figure, we suddenly realized rotated around younger brother, who is a, a, like an unexploded firework, waiting to do something political and passionate, and so she becomes his alter ego in a way. This is not the America he came here for! None of us did! None of us! It was winter in New York as the snow began to fall, and the workmen's hall had not a seat to spare. When a young man ducked inside just to warm himself was all, the night that Goldman spoke at Union Square. Strike! Um, and it goes from there, J.P. Morgan and Henry Ford, who are the industrialists of the past. They are, of course, father's counterpoint, because father is a, a manufacturer of Americana and bunting and, and sort of ties in with, with J.P. Morgan and Henry Ford. Um, and Tata, who is the Jewish immigrant who has escaped from this terrible life that he had in Europe and has come with great high hopes to America to be an entrepreneur, his muse is Harry Houdini, who is also an immigrant and who um, has made a great success of things here in the, in the United States. So, so in that way, the, um, the, the historical characters color the fictional characters' stories um, and serve as great color and, and um, exciting historical specificity for the show. Uh, and there's also, for schools and you know, it's, it's always amazing, but they find so much in the study guide and, oh, yeah. and to, to, to pull from about history, about women's rights, about the immigrant life, about um, the African-American experience at the tolerance. turn of the se century, tolerance, about tolerance. Yeah. We'll see justice, Sarah, and plenty of men who will stand up and give us our due. I swear that it's more than promises swear that it must be true a country that lets a man like me own a car raise a child build a life with you all of these political and social forces that were just a melting pot there at that point in time uh, are wonderful study study things to study for, for yeah. classes and for for um, people performing the show. Yeah.